Like you've got a really, really sweet tooth, then this recipe is definitely for you. We've got our homemade crunchy honeycomb. Honeycomb is one of those things that you might associate with a really crunchy chocolate bar. Oh, yes. We're gonna make our own homemade so we can make a really big one. All right, so it is really simple. You do need exact measurements. They're down below. But for now, if you can put these into a pan, cast the sugar, check your trap. Sorry. <laughs> I'm a little bit amazed by this Cast the sugar in. Golden syrup in yes. as well, if you can scrape all that in. And butter. So as you can see, three really healthy ingredients and mm, loads yeah. of them. Definitely a sweet treat. We'll bring that up to a boil so everything bubbles and melts away. In the mm -hmm. meantime, we can make our cartouche, which is what we're going to put into. This is going to stop it from sticking. You can just use a silicon mould. Mm -hmm. This is baking paper. Don't use something like tin foil or grease proof. It will stick. Fold it in half. Yep. If you can fold it in half the other way. I can do that. So that the folded edges are together. And then all you have to do is keep folding these folded edges together again. Again, no, ooh, uh, ooh, always ooh, keep ooh, the folded one. edges together yeah. and get smaller and smaller and smaller. Yeah. Fold again, there we go, that's pretty much there. So that's what you end up with. Put the spike in the middle and go to just past the middle so you know right. how big you want to make it. And then we need to cut it, so cut through. And then if you open it out, you can put it in our a circle, a cartouche. That needs to go in there. So in the time you've taken to do that, mm -hmm. we can now see this is all melted and beginning ah! to bubble. Now what we need to do is don't ever stir this, but keep shaking it from time to time. And we want to get to the point where just before it burns. Okay. okay. And you'll know that because it will get really, really silky and sticky. Okay. Okay. And it will begin to smell like honey. At which point we're going to add in the magic ingredient. Which is... Bicarb of soda. So honeycomb is obviously full of air, yeah. bubbles, and that's what we need to put into this. We need to put the bubbles back in. Ooh. Okay. So now what you can do is you can smell that. It's beginning to mm. smell a bit more dark and caramel, just leaving the edges, but it's nice and foamy. If you throw that in there now, yeah. kind of scatter it in nice and quick, and then you whisk it in. Now look at that, you get all those air bubbles in Ooh. there, and then pour it into our lined container. Wow. Now that is Look really hot, there. don't go anywhere near it, it's really hot, but let it continue oh, bubbling nice. and all that bicarb continues to grow inside. What's left in the pan will be really, really hot. Get it under water quite quickly, and then if you fill it up with hot water and put it back on the stove and let it bubble with lots of water, it's really easy to clean. Okay. Okay? Otherwise it's a bit of a nightmare. Useful. So at this point, leave the honeycomb for a good couple of hours at room temperature and it will set up and go nice and crunchy. Yeah. And then we'll show you what you can do with it. Now our honeycomb nearly good to go, but it wouldn't be a proper crunchy bar unless we had some chocolate as well. It's this my favorite chocolate bar. is an awesome chocolate bar, which mm -hmm. we can just break in there. If you can break all the bits up, that's mm -hmm. in there. Now, as we melt down the microwave, we need a little bit of milk, just mm -hmm. so you end up with a kind of chocolate sauce that's dunkable. Well, and if you can put that into our microwave. I can. Give it about a minute or so. Now we can show you our honeycomb. So this is what we end up Ooh. with. Now we've already peeled it off, so it's good to go. Put the whole thing on. Right. And this is kind of a, a tear and share dish. What are you doing? Really? What are you doing? There's your honeycomb. Ooh. So you put it in the middle of the table. Nice. Try some of that. Crunchy, oh. gooey, amazing honeycomb. Oh my God. What we need now is our dip. Is it nearly done? Yes, it is. It is, look at that. That will be plenty hot enough, but it hasn't all necessarily oh. melted. So at this point, we just oh. stir it to get that all together. There we go, nice and silky mm -hmm. smooth. Those bits pour of nougat in. are in there. So we just pour in oh. that, that becomes Kind of like a chocolate fondue, I suppose, yes. to dip with. Pop that there. Make sure you've got something sharp around to separate these into bite-sized chunks. Oh. Now, there we go. It is our crunchy homemade honeycomb with chocolate nougat dip. Sorted. It's not rectangular, wrapped in foil, but it is on a oh, slate. Tell that me what you think. Dunk it in there. Why? Mm. Uh oh. Mm. It gets in the tea. You're going to be bouncing off the walls this afternoon. That is intense. Right, you guys can't hog whoa, all whoa, of this. Whoa, 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 to... No, 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 no. You can't hog this all to yourself. Get a good crunch, get a good crunch. Oh, oh, ben. I've lost my crunch a bit in there. If one day we have a, a restaurant, mm -hmm. this has got to be on the menu. A sharing platter for everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. This is amazing. Comment below if you think we should have a restaurant. Yeah? Mm. And would you come? We've got more of these amazing desserts. And go to our website, sortedfood.com. We've got loads more on there. Daily stuff. And we would love to see you and your friends sharing this. So, upload a picture of your honeycomb chocolate fondue party to our Facebook, facebook.com. Sorted food. <laughs> <laughs>